unfound block. One blade. Scissors. Okay, M2 classic binaural microphone. Objective to create a foam head to place these for binaural recording. Now, this is basically going to be a uh, one of the videos in this series of videos to help Lauren. Uh, Fenton to set up her equipment to be able to record a better binaural experience for her YouTube channel So I've offered to help uh, Two ways that I wanted to help was I wanted to test her microphones with my zoom recorder and I wanted to create a, um, a, a, a foam block to try and simulate a head and I get to play around with the microphones, I get to test it out, so I thought I would do it. So as I'm doing it, I'll just uh, ramble on about the other parts that I'm helping her with. So the first objective is to, uh, to work out these microphones. I believe the color goes on the outside. So... My objective was to basically get these two blocks of acoustic foam and stick them together. And um, seems to be pretty stable. So the idea is, is you can just stick a camera on here. We'll keep it pretty simple. And I'm going to try and cut the foam out a little bit to create a uh, head. We'll stick the microphones in the side. And we will create a um, binaural recording block for her so let's begin so the fun part is going to be me cutting it this is going to get uh, messy and it's going to look pretty crap i think just trying to check which is the most stable i think this is what i wanted to do is just to have it there so so i'll put the camera up here recording and we'll stick the microphones in there so my objective is to basically, I think I'm going to try and shape it a little bit inward. So when you're talking from the front, um, the sound will still come to the microphones. And what I'll probably try and do is have a little bit of the foam act like ears to catch some of the audio. So good luck to me. I think I'm going to need it. Well, that doesn't sound very good, does it? This foam head's not going to look very good. Oh. That was not meant to happen. So 
so it doesn't matter too much what it's going to look like because you're never going to really see it except for this video. Okay, so now I'm just going to continue creating this recording block for Lauren. So what I wanted to do is I'm going to have the camera sat on top here. And my idea is, is I'm going to try and carve a little section here to represent the ear. So I was thinking that I would do something like... So you should always be careful using a sharp blade. I can tell you many times I've cut myself. Some minor, some not so minor. A good mess here. One ear. So I'm just trying to keep it as similar on both sides. So now we have two ears. Now the problem that I face next is how do I create holes that these will somehow stay in. I kind of had the vision that I wanted these microphones to, instead of face sideways out, I'd really love them to have a slight angle Forward. So instead of pointing that way, I'd love them to point that way. So I have a vision of having a slight cut here. And you can sort of stick the cable in there. And then if I was to... Try and create some type of indentation in here. Sorry, you can't see what I'm doing. But if I show you, I can't see. So 
So what we're going to do is we're going to use the cut here as um, like an anchor or some way to hold it. So I'll just try and cut this a little bit deeper. And we will stick that in there. So by <coughs> putting a cut along here, it gives something for the cord to go into. And that helps to recess the microphone in there. And that gives me that slight, instead of being the microphone pointing that way, it points the microphone slightly that way, which is what um, I would imagine would work a little bit better. So I'm quite happy with that. So let's work on getting it onto the other side. All right, my finger rough measurement. So here is a little indentation that we will use for the next microphone. Try and tidy it up a little bit. And so we want a little cut. Straight along there. I'll just recess this one just a little bit. Just a little heads up tip with using a blade. It's always a good idea to cut away from you. And if you've got your fingers here, instead of cutting that way, cut this way. So I have like a, a bit of distance so I won't cut my face. But I can guarantee you if you practice that safe technique using a sharp blade, it will save you getting cut. Alright, I'm really happy with that. So there's one microphone recessed in, and another microphone recessed in. So if we put the camera up here, it's not going to be perfectly level. I'd love to get the camera a bit lower, which you can always do. But um, I think this will create quite an effective recording block. So what I'll do is I'll just cut that into there, and I'll do the same over here. So now we are ready to test the binaural capabilities of my new recording block. So what I will do is I will switch around my normal microphones to this one and I'll just put it like this. I might move it back a little bit. And um, let's record a ASMR session with these new microphones. I'm excited. All right. Give me a moment and I will switch over recording systems. I'd like just to run you through a quick setup of the uh, Zoom recorder. So what you need to do is plug the OKM microphone into the back, the external mic, and that will disable the onboard microphones and allow you to record with your plugged in microphone. Generally what you'll need to do is press this microphone button up here and that way that will change the, the recording so it records the OKM microphone plugged into the back. So basically press microphone, mind recording my main mic, so just ignore those for the moment. You'd press mic and that would select them. And then there's a few settings in the menu that you want to look at. 
So the main menu you need to always go into and check is input. Once the other stuff's set up, you forget about it, input is where you always go. Alright, so in input, um, there's a setting called low cut. I set mine to 115 hertz. This just cuts out a lot of low frequency sounds that uh, generally aren't recorded with a voice recording. Um, that's the setting that I use, so I've got 115 set to both at the moment. And then the next one you want to go to is complementer off. So basically what we want to go through is just go through everything. We want to make sure that everything is turned off. Off for monitor, off for link. Um, automatic level adjustment you must have off. Mono mix off. And then the other one that you'll always have to do, this is the one menu selection you must get familiar with, it says plug in power. So the OKM microphones, when plugged into this connection, need power. And so it only provides a little bit of power through to them, but um, that's what you want in a microphone. So microphones that require power are going to be more sensitive and give you a better audio recording. So the OKM microphones, even though they're plugged into a normal microphone jack, they will not work unless this zoom recorder sends out power to the microphones, and that's activated here under the input menu, plug in power. So you would just hit your menu button on that and turn it on. And so now I have plug in power on and phantom power. So the phantom power provides power to the microphones plugged into the bottom. So more professional style microphones use these XLR connections and it's very common that condenser microphones require 48 volts to power the microphones. So microphones requir requiring power equals better microphones in general. So I will turn plug-in off. Okay, so once you have gone through your input menu, remember that is the number one important one. Um, Let's see. Mode is the menu that allows you to switch from two channel recording. So when you're recording in stereo or two channel, you can either record to the microphone, which would be the microphone plugs in here with the microphones on top, or you can choose one and two, and that will record these microphones in stereo. So I normally record most of my stuff in stereo. Um, but mode allows you to go to four channel mode, which means you can record two microphones here and effectively two more microphones here. Um, so the other part that you want to get into is record. So I'm guessing that will be the recording format. So the recording format is always wave format. I think it's 48 hertz at 16 bits. So that'll be your most common format of audio file that we be compatible with video editing applications. So there you go. That is all there is really to the Zoom is it's the input menu and I activate my low cut to 115. Everything else is off and plug-in power will need to be turned on when you plug in a microphone here at the back that requires power like the OKM microphone. Set your recording format to 24, oh, sorry, it's wave format, 16-bit, 48 kilohertz, uh, I believe is the correct one. Um, that's all that my recorder is set to and they're the same settings used for all of my recordings, I just change the microphones. Just one more little tip, to sync your audio and your video is it's a good idea just to clap at least twice at the start of a video and audio recording. So you make sure that the camera and the recorder are both recording and you clap 
and that gives you two marks in your audio timeline in your video and your audio. So you've got your video track, you've got your audio track, and inside those waveforms, you'll see your clap clap and clap clap, and then you just sync the two together until they line up, and then your audio and video is synced, and you must mute the video, the audio and the video. So I mute my camera audio, and I only allow this audio from this WAV file to be played back in the video editing application that you use. This is a binaural recording test of the OKM2 classic binaural microphones. I've mounted these microphones into an acoustic foam simulated head. So I've just cut out an ear for one microphone and I've cut out an ear for the other microphone. So we're just going to place it here and normally the camera would be sitting on top of this so we can get a little bit closer but just for now we're going to keep this set up. So this video will continue, uh, we'll, we'll have some um, soft spoken words, some whispering and I'm just going to use my uh, mobile phone for some tapping sounds just to test out the capabilities of this phone block. I'll just do a little um, visualization. So just imagine yourself being very comfortable in a nice soft chair and just listen to the sounds around you and just let every little sound that you hear the road sounds outside, the sounds of wind and nature, just the general white noise of the world around you, and just allow these sounds to help you relax. As I move around you, you will slowly start to feel more relaxed. Let these white sounds of the world around you just fade into the background and just imagine yourself at a nice relaxing location. Imagine the sounds of nature just gently relaxing you, whether it's the sound of the gentle water on a beach or the busy sounds of a city as you're exploring a new area for the first time as you travel, or if you'd prefer the gentle sounds of a waterfall just gently flowing over the rocks around you. You let these sounds of relaxation in your mind just help you 
to relax. And you have a smile on your face as you know that you are very happy as you listen to these sounds of relaxation around you and you know that I'm here just talking to you to help you relax so relax I'm just going to bring my voice into a nice quiet whisper and just continue this visualization ASMR is 
something that can help relax people, even if you don't feel the classic definition of tingles. By watching videos that we create, you can definitely feel very relaxed. So just remember, this video is designed to be a little bit of a test so that you can physically see me moving around you in the recording levels. Relaxation is very, very important these days. As time each day that you have available for yourself is shorter and shorter, it's important for you to find a home or a location where you can go to feel relaxed. So people like me and Lauren, we create these videos to help people, to help people relax. And it's a very, very good way to help people. It's free, it's easy, it's natural. It doesn't have any side effects. And um, one of the other benefits of the people creating these videos is the community. Um, the internet is very much about communities of people. People with like-minded interests and uh, they get together, whether it's games, babies and kids, mothers, or even uh, people looking for family history. There's many different communities of people on the internet. And that's one of the very, very important things about the internet, is there's a, there's a very, very big social aspect so the ASMR movement has quite a large community of people that are generally um, are located mostly on Facebook, YouTube and Reddit are the, the main homes for people that you'd want to connect up with for the ASMR community. Uh, generally you find most people in the ASMR community are generally very, very helpful, respectful, and nice. Um, we don't have too many dramas of people. One of the other aspects of ASMR videos is whispering. Whispering is probably one of the early triggers for people to relax, just whispering.
as you see the recording levels you see they're very similar for both my microphones and the back end microphones what's better than one silver soap two silver soaps Okay, so that was a quick demonstration and binaural test using my homemade foam recording block and the OKM Classic 2 binaural recording microphones. So this setup will be getting sent down to Lauren in Australia uh, for her to use. So these are her microphones. I've made the foam block for her and she's ordered one of these Zoom recorders. So she'll have this identical setup to be able to create binaural recordings for her subscribers and everybody else watching her video so I'd recommend I'll put a link down below check her channel out uh, she's a very nice lady and uh, she's one of the more popular Australian ASMR artists thank you very much So I'll just do a little bit of um, soft spoken words just to see how well the binaural capabilities work. So, binaural recordings are a very important part of just helping to relax people. There's something very special about the sound just moving around you and just going from one side just to the other side and it's quite a relaxing technique to help relax you and even just simple whispering type sounds 
Relaxation is very, very important these days. As time, each day that you have available for yourself is shorter and shorter, it's important for you to find a home or a location where you can go to feel relaxed. So people like me and Lauren, we create these videos to help people, to help people relax. And it's a very, very good way to help people. It's free, it's easy, it's natural. It doesn't have any side effects. And um, one of the other benefits of the people creating these videos is the community. Um, the internet is very much about communities of people. People with like-minded interests, and uh, they get together, whether it's games, babies and kids, mothers, or even uh, people looking for family history. There's many different communities of people on the internet. And that's one of the very, very important things about the internet is there's a, there's a very, very big social aspect so the ASMR movement has quite a large community of people that are generally um, are located mostly on Facebook, YouTube and Reddit are the, the main homes for people that you'd want to connect up with for the ASMR community. Uh, generally you find most people in the ASMR community are generally very, very helpful, respectful, and nice. Um, we don't have too many dramas of people. One of the other aspects of ASMR videos is whispering. Whispering is probably one of the early triggers for people to relax, just whispering. is a bit softer than the other so one side will be quieter. Alright, both 
both sides at the same time. Enjoy these sounds just very gently. as I go down around and lower. Okay, so that was a quick demonstration and binaural test using my homemade foam recording block and the OKM Classic 2 binaural recording microphones. So this setup will be getting sent down to Lauren in Australia uh, for her to use. So these are her microphones. I've made the foam block for her and she's ordered one of these Zoom recorders. So she'll have this identical setup to be able to create binaural recordings for her subscribers and everybody else watching her video so I'd recommend I'll put a link down below check her channel out uh, she's a very nice lady and uh, she's one of the more popular Australian ASMR artists thank you very much this is a binaural recording test of the OKM OK 2 classic binaural microphones. I've mounted these microphones into an acoustic foam simulated head. So I've just cut out an ear for one microphone and I've cut out an ear for the other microphone. So we're just going to place it here 
and normally the camera would be sitting on top of this so we can get a little bit closer but just for now we're going to keep this set up so this video will continue uh, we'll, we'll have some um, soft spoken words some whispering and I'm just going to use my uh, mobile phone for some tapping sounds just to test out the capabilities of this phone block So I'll just do a little um, visualization. So just imagine yourself being very comfortable in a nice soft chair. And just listen to the sounds around you and just let every little sound that you hear the road sounds outside, the sounds of wind and nature, just the general white noise of the world around you, and just allow these sounds to help you relax. As I move around you, you will slowly start to feel more relaxed. Let these white sounds of the world around you just fade into the background and just imagine yourself at a nice relaxing location. Imagine the sounds of nature just gently relaxing you. Whether it's the sound of the gentle water on a beach or the busy sounds of a city as you're exploring a new area for the first time as you travel. Or if you'd prefer the gentle sounds of a waterfall just gently flowing over the rocks around you. You let these sounds of relaxation in your mind just help you to relax. And you have a smile on your face as you know that you are very happy as you listen to these sounds of relaxation around you. And you know that I'm here just talking to you to help you relax. So relax. I'm just going to bring my voice into a nice quiet whisper and just continue this visualization.
the sun. 